Kevin Perez, also known as K Flop, is a rising New York drill rapper who came up in the Bronx. If I say so myself, he is very talented, dropping hit after hit while only rapping for a short period of time. K was on his way to being rap's next superstar, but he wasn't doing it alone. He had a few of his best friends as well, such as Dougie B, who is an upcoming superstar himself, who also has bangers with K Flop. Just as well as B-Love, who really helped K-Flock want to get on the rap scene. All three of these guys are unstoppable. K was working hard, but the beef he was involved in came with other rappers making a name. Like D-Thang, who was actually one of the creators of New York Drill. One of his ops, and which might shock some people, one of K-Flock's cousins as well. Ain't related to me. Like, I did this, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see auntie now. Huh. Just gonna learn today. I ain't gonna lie. Tell niggas stop playing with me, bro. Gangsta, bro. Tell niggas stop playing with me and they raps, bro. For real. But let alone D thing, K Flock had ops like Shaw G's. Shaw is definitely doing his thing, so the Bronx drill wave is on fire. But Shaw was disrespectful, kicking one of K's dead man's candles. I see you out here. Jay Red. RP my heart. Suck my dick. Not to mention another New York drill creator, Shy EK, who was K Flock's friend at a point of time. Go to my mama, they gonna scream out the window, and you know it's gonna go away from there. Yo, this nigga, my son, you wanna have this thing? Always from my memory. GTO. Oh, there you go, y'all. There you go. He was also someone who would disrespect K Flock's dead friends in songs. But K Flock was a demon himself, so that wouldn't phase him as much as you would think. K was one of the ones who would show no mercy and be on timing with all ops. He lost brothers in the streets, so he had no choice but to get with the streets. K Flock started to terrorize the city with no remorse. Man, he wasn't crashing on the highway. Ojo Pisado, Ojo Pisado, watch him. Say watch your daddy. Oh, he's not. Just your taco. That was the duck. And did I duck my? If I was behind that the whole time, chasing me. Say watch to JB. Nigga, hey, the whole pop. clubhouse heard it, bro. What I was happened? chasing you the whole you time. You talk about a whole clubhouse. What nah. nigga, I was dead. You they saw y'all did bad. Club. They now, heard y'all did bad. Nah, nah, Ojuk Sa, what happened to 065 Pop too? Nothing. Bro, y'all was up the gate, bro. Y'all like, yo, right, bro, you going up the gate. Y'all wasted y'all shit. Ojuk Sa, you really up here, up here, the clubhouse hurt everything. Nigga, fuck the clubhouse, nigga. You nigga, saw everything. No. Fuck. Y'all niggas over here. Bro, where do I want to look? Even though he was a savage in the streets, he also was a good hearted dude. He wanted all his guys to win. Everyone loves K Flock and his entourage. But he lost a lot. He had a close friend that really touched home when he was killed, going by the name of Jay Rip. Sunday, a 13-year-old died too, shot walking down 187th Street. Surveillance shows Jerron Elliott in red pants. Shots zing through the air. Within seconds, he scrambles inside a restaurant. A crowd surrounds him. Police say he got shot in the ankle and chest. It hurts me a lot, you know, that he was a nice kid. He was never a troublemaker. And then suddenly this happened to him. Angie's one of the people who lit a candle in his memory in front of his Southern Boulevard building. Police think that his death is gang related. But it's been confirmed when Jay Rip died, a rapper by the name of Rod G's was killed. And that was less than 24 hours after the death of Jay Rip. Rod G's would be pronounced dead getting shot while on the phone in a taxi cab. She's devastated. What of me? They killed their son. Single mother Yvonne Medrano is inconsolable. The Bronx woman is now mourning the loss of her 16-year-old son, Ramon Gil Medrano. Her older son translated for her. When she saw him, he looked like he was asleep. And even before the death of Ra and Jay Rip, Ra would diss K Flock. Somebody tag K Flock. Somebody tag K Flock. Nigga, niggas not. Play him, come right back. Fuck niggas outside right now as we speak. Come on, come on. You coming through hot and all live, blocking niggas off your lives so niggas can't see your shit. Like, what's up? Pop out, nigga. We outside here. Yeah. Yo, K Flock, pop Who's out. Pop out right now. Right now as we speak, nigga. You wanna make shows? You wanna make shows too? Pop out. Weirdo, Water my mother. Tell pop out right now. Tell rap pop out right now. Nigga, where you at? Come up here. Nice, where you at? Bro. Like, where you at? Nice, 
They want to do weird I'm shit. I wish I'd have sued you. I already know the V. I'm on y'all. We, we, we see fuck. that. We know the V, nigga. We, we, yo. Nigga is pussy, nigga. Mm. I know that was done by the very two. They sent me the other day. They gave me the other day. She want to go live on my block. And I let niggas know you on my block. Like, niggas not worried about you, nigga. I'm not nobody live. Nothing. I'm getting high, nigga. On my block. Respectfully, I see you. I see you. I see you. Come do something, nigga. I said, you are. Fuck, come do something. You a little K, bro. Sure, y'all did it. Yeah. Who's y'all? Nigga, what am I again? Nigga, the oh, whole man, life did not see me. Nigga, I was not there, you. nigga. Yo, Nobody bro. saw you, nigga. I was fuck in the back. Yeah, high, fuck all that politics and shit. Fuck all that politics and shit. Come side. back, spend back. Now be outside. What you think spend would back. happen if I would have seen you? Spend like, back. Like, niggas did not see you. Yo, we not gonna argue That's with him. We not gonna argue him. We not gonna. We not gonna sit here. We not gonna sit and go back and forth with you. The war in the Bronx was unreal, but K still was trying to be something in life and would eventually sign a deal with Capitol Records. That was his way out of the trenches and out of the war. But it would be clear that K Flock wasn't a cat rapper because K Flock would lose it all in the blink of an eye. He was walking in Harlem with his sisters and an op would spot him and come out the barbershop. And that escalated to gunfire, leaving the man shot in the chest and neck. K would turn himself in and his lawyer would agree to self-defense in the case. When the guy hits the ground, and is found, he's got a loaded gun that was in his pocket that his hand was on at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, we consider that to be self-defense. So he did take, he did shoot him in self-defense. That's what the allegation is. You know, I don't want to talk too much about the details of the case, okay. but the government claims that he pulled the gun out and shot him. But at the same time, the person that was dead on the ground had his hand on a loaded weapon, illegal loaded weapon apparently about to shoot Kevin. K Flock is still relevant to this day, and I'm sure everyone prays he gets out, but we can only hope for the best as time goes by. Free K Flock.